Many thanks for staying with us on the newsroom. I am Fola Shade Ogurinde. The federal government has ruled out the possibility of cancellation or postponement of the 2023 elections, despite annex alarm on rising insecurity and its impact on the forthcoming polls. The Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, made this known on Tuesday at the 17th edition of the President's Muhammad Buhari Administration Scorecard Series in Abuja. The minister added that there is no cause for alarm as all hands are on deck to ensure peaceful and credible conduct of the polls. The gunmen involved in the abduction of 32 Edo train passengers on Saturday have reportedly demanded 620 million naira ransom. Comrade Benson Odia, the executive director of Esson Youth for Good Governance and Social Justice, said that the kidnappers had contacted some families of the victims and demanded 20 million naira for each person. Odia appealed to the authorities to intensify efforts at rescuing those still being held captive by the gunmen. Prominent indigents of Igbira land in Kogi State have fled their traditional ruler, the Ohinoyi of Iberia land, Ado Ibrahim, for allegedly disrespecting the offices of President Muhammad Obwari and Kogi State Governor Yahaya Bello, saying that monarchs must respect constituted authority and should not play God. While throwing their full weight behind a recent query given to the Iberia land monarch for allegedly disrespecting the offices of President Muhammad Obwari and the Governor, the Iberia leaders explained that there has been no regime in Kogi State that has not queried the monarch. South Africa's health minister said that it does not see the need to implement any new COVID-19 restrictions either at home or for arrivals over an infection surge in China and the detection of the first case of Omicron subvariant XBB 1.5. However, the minister has sought advice from the World Health Organization and will increase COVID-19 testing and renew its vaccination campaign in light of rising infections in countries like China and the United States. In business, the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has threatened to penalize commercial banks who fail to comply with the directive of loading the redesigned Naira notes in their automated teller machines, ATMs. According to the CBN Director, Currency Operations, Hamad Umar, the purpose of the CBN Directive was to implement the January 31 deadline for the withdrawal of old Naira notes in circulation. Last week, the CBN and other banks support dispensing the new currency notes over the counter and to only make them available via ATMs. On the foreign scene, former U.S. President Donald Trump has taken a dig at the current U.S. President Joe Biden after it was reported that some classified documents were discovered from an old private office of Biden. On Monday, Biden's attorney acknowledged that several classified documents from Biden's vice presidential and presidential tenure were found last fall from an old private office of the U.S. President. Trump took advantage of the report and even went on to question the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI. In sports, Wales manager Rob Page wants Gareth Bale to stay involved in the international setup after the star forward announced he was hanging up his boots. Bale, a five-time Champions League winner at Real Madrid, ended a glittering career on Monday after winning 111 caps and scoring 41 goals for his country, both national records for the men's team. The 33-year-old's decision to quit came after Wales' disappointing performance at the World Cup in Qatar when Page's team failed to get out of their group and Bill struggled due to a lack of match fitness. That's it from the newsroom. Many thanks for watching.